Welcome back, my friends. Welcome back. No, I'm not singing to you today. As much as you might love that, you got to come to karaoke nights with me. Today, I'm with Scott. We're talking Vericut. We're bringing that partnership in with Midwest Cam Solutions and Gibbs Cam, how it all works together. But before we get into the relationship side of things, let's talk about how Vericut itself works and how it might be able to help you. Scott, Vericut, how does it work? Yeah, Vericut. So, um, Vericut is a G code. Uh, verification tool, so our customers use Vericut to um, run G-code programs, macro programs, and prove them out before they get to the shop floor to reduce setup and downtime on their machines. And then um, from there, collision detection, so collision avoidance on your machine. And then kind of the next step from there is optimization, taking that G-code program with one single uh, feed rate and putting in multiple feed rates on more lines in order to reduce cycle time and uh, improve tool life. I find a ton of value in that already. I may have even interrupted you. I got That's so okay. excited about it, but I find value in that because as a programmer, I started, and I've said this story a hundred times for people who watch our videos regularly, but I started line by line. You know how many times I put a decimal in the wrong spot or negative where it shouldn't have been? My X, Y's, and Z's go in the wrong direction on my turning centers for that verification that I'm not gonna crash. That is, I mean, Maybe I'm putting on my Captain Obvious cape right now, but that is so very helpful. Yep. Yep, yep, yep is it the is. answer. That's all we actually read. Yes, yes, it is, Tony. There's your Captain Obvious answer. All right, Scott, please continue where I interrupted you. Yeah, and so customers have been using our product for over 35 years to do exactly what you said, find those one decimal place problems uh, that you don't find out about until the machine crashes. Um, and then sort of the next step from there after the optimization side of it, which is a standalone product, um, we get into machine monitoring. So finding out how the machine is set up and how it compares back to the Vericut project so that if the operator makes changes on the shop floor or puts in the incorrect tool uh, offset, um, we can compare it back and find out before you hit cycle start, hey, the machine isn't set the way the Vericut project is set up and there might be a problem, so we should look into it or the customer should look into it and um, um, you know, fix whatever problem they see. Can we dive a little deeper into the optimization side of things? I, I make a program, I'm running my part. Where does that optimization come in? Uh, speeds, feeds, depth of cut, where does, that, where does it really maximize my potentials in a program that I had pre-written? Sure, so basically if the program's already on the shop floor running, um, the Vericut solution itself uh, reads through that G-code program and it looks at how that tool is engaging with the type of material that you're machining. So uh, if you're machining aluminum or you're machining uh, Inconel or stainless steel, um, each one of those materials machines a little bit differently. And then Vericut looks at a 3D uh, cut in time of how that tool is engaging with the material and then slows down in areas where you might have deflection on the tool or tool breakage and then speeds up in areas where you're chip thinning and you need to go faster in order to maintain a constant chip thickness and not wear out your tool or work hard in the material that you're machining. Yeah, makes sense. I'm happy you explained it that way, but when you were saying it, it obviously makes sense, right? So we have this beautiful gift called Vericut and we're getting ready to give it, but we're gonna put a nice bow on it. So that bow is, how does that relationship work with Midwest Cam Solutions and Gibbs Cam? Yeah, so um, the Midwest Cam Group, I mean, they, they sell Gibbs Cam obviously into their area and uh, we partner up with them and their, and their end users. So there's a direct interface from Gibbs Cam to Vericut. So clients can, um, you know, use Vericut to like prove out a process like we talked about earlier uh, before it gets out to the shop floor. Uh, but their, so, um, their support for their customers is a lot like our support for our customers. Um, you heard earlier with Darren that um, you know they, they get customers that call at a regular basis and um, they get help right away. Uh, we pride ourselves on the same type of uh, support at Vericut for our end users. And um, you know, we basically support the Midwest Cam Group when they have a more complex machine like this, uh, uh, sliding headstock machine or Swiss machine, if you will. And um, uh, when they have a problem with those types of machines, they give us a call and we can simulate the code and find out what's going on before they um, you know, release a post to their end user. Scott, as you may understand, MTD CNC, we travel the world doing interviews in machine shops all the time. I get a lot of answers and questions when the cameras are off about what works best for someone, right? And a lot of times I'll ask somebody about something that I believe to be, I mean, incredibly significant, futuristic even, you might say, with all the AI going on about 
being able to collect data, being able to understand machines, being able to truly utilize our machine shops to the highest capacity. Yep. And every time I ask a question like that, I'll also follow it up with, are you supported in a way that helps you truly understand how that technology can be beneficial to you? And the difference to me between something good and something not so good is that communication in that service and support. Would you agree that that's the reason why you dedicate, and so does Midwest, and so does Gibbscam, dedicate that service and support when somebody gives you a call, you're there to answer those questions? Absolutely, I, you know, customers pay software maintenance on, on the, uh, the product that they own, and they expect to be able to get support, um, you know, for that money and and you know we value or we we value our customers and uh, you know we think that that support to them is is super uh, critical to them being successful and staying in business and and being a long-term you know partnership yeah agreed scott Thank all my questions are done you are off the hot seat we can both get out of here and have sure. a lunch or whatever we want to do but i really appreciate you sharing your time with us today and thank you for sharing your time as well time is the one thing we cannot manufacture more of so if you shared it with us today scott and i well at least me what about you scott you appreciate them absolutely absolutely appreciate you thank you all for watching get your friends into manufacturing as well we appreciate it